Hey there, welcome to another unboxing video. This is going to be featuring the Gem Elevator card for the IBM PC compatible. Now, this is actually one of the main devices that you want to charge at the top for, including the Copyright protected games. Now these are some like this. So I can play like a turn. This is me. I'm your um AC requires the following information. Here's the list of Features right here, monochrome and color emulation, string from emulate SD programs, direct disk and hard drive access, available with thousands of SD programs. Like I said, it's probably excluding the copyright protected games, like uh, in some cases, <coughs> compatible with Windows. This is easy plug-in installation, and here are the list of specifications. 4 megabytes of RAM, 386 processor. Hard drive, MS DOS, and 1.44 megabyte box drive. So my 386 here, that's going to be used for this thing. And here is here are the goodies. If I can actually get the thing back. There we go. And here is the list of shortcut keys. Let's see here. Here's the disk itself. I'm going to be archiving this using my laptop. Let's see which other goodies are in here. Emulator 90 Pro is here. Run your Atari ST and Apple Macintosh software on Windows 95, 98, and NT. Looks like we have to look up how to uh, emulators.com. Yeah, that's the website that I went to to look up the particular software back in the day. I ain't not back in the day, but it, uh, right now. Low, low price of night. One point five nine. Looks like I have to run all install this in the DOS box to see how this thing performs. Where's my floppy drive? Here it is. Fortunately, this product was registered, and I believe the person that sent it was the original owner. Start dots box on here.
so I had to open it. Oops. That's PC. Yeah, a few files here. Yeah, got a gem, you eight are a Word document, and then there's a zip program. Yeah, that's why I archive, archive the whole thing. If I be just about to go. The reason why it's very fortunate that I got the floppy disk back, backed up. Now for the real test. Copy and paste it over to my C drive, to the games folder. I can figure out where that folder is on this thing. in here
it's time for the real test. Of course, we're open up my Discord program here because apparently you get like five thousand notifications. I think. Alright, so here's what the task command looks like. You also have the link emulator and then you'll put then there is a banner right here. It's compatible with the following 386DX, SX, 486SX, DX, DX2. And it scans for the January here. ROM reader for the task ROMs which are on this card here. It's a different version of class. Um, it's on, on this card, it's, it's 2206, which is slower than previous. Well, it's basically like TOS, a class 2.06, which is the operating system that the Atari used back in the early 90s. This is what the card looks like. You have these two ROMs right here. I believe that is the Actually, I don't think that's a presser, but I think it's probably like option ROMs or something like that. Over here, you have these ROMs. I'm going to go look up all these here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be archiving these as well. And I'm going to be testing all these logic chips. And thankfully, everything is socketed. And then you have the dip switches here, which I believe it controls like the speed, the set, like the number of drives. Things of that nature. And of course, unfortunately, I can't find anything about it, so. So on the plus side, I do have the program archived. And it works in DOSBox 2 point, except I don't have the... How weird would that be if I actually added the, uh, something like that for DOSBox? Actually, I think that would be a great idea. In any event, got everything archived. I got the disk out of archive. The disk out was starting to go, so luckily I archived it just in the nick of time. Always a good idea to archive anything. And that's all for now.